Hi everyone, I'm Shanti, the artist behind Shanti Fine Arts. I am going to show you today how you can use your oil pastels and paint paintings exactly like Van Gogh. And guess what? I have created this portrait of Salvador Dali, so you get two gifts of the same package. I'm starting off with the sky in the background with a blue color. And for the background, I have chosen um, to be close to the wheat field and cypress, uh, of the famous painting of Van Gogh, just in Van Gogh style, just that I will be using oil pastels instead of oil paint that Van Gogh had used. And you can see that I first laid down the initial layer of uh, uh, blue and then I came back with white and added some swirls. The swirls are important when you are creating sky in Van Gogh style. So you do not have to uh, follow any specific pattern, just swirl it around and then it comes the turns of the cloud. For the cloud, I am using purple and white, a combination of it. Sometimes I'm using purple to just create borders and then white to blend it out. And then sometimes I'm using purple in the center of the clouds and then blending it out with white, adding a touch of purple here and there. So that's how the clouds happen. Now onto the cypress tree. I am first starting on with a very dark shade of blue. Um, kind of like an indigo blue and it doesn't matter really what exact shade I am using you just have to add a lot of colors I am using all the different kinds of blues and purples uh, and greens available to me in the Mungio artist quality 24 pack set of oil pastels so just go with whatever color pattern just make sure you have enough lights and darks and variations to make it look interesting now coming into filling the inter internal part of the tree or the inside of the tree with a dark green first and then I will overlay it with some um, light green highlights and some yellow highlights at the very end uh, and additional amounts of blues here and there and uh, that's how I am uh, creating the Van Gogh style background and uh, I'm closely following the famous painting although I'm not exactly copying it because my area is much smaller and I want to use it as a background so I don't want it to be too extra bright although it is important that it is bright to be true to the Van Gogh style um, and a lot of a uh, lot of the strokes that I'm making are actually showing. I generally paint a realistic style and in that case I pay a lot of attention to blending oil pastels. In this case I'm not even trying to blend. I'm trying to show the brush uh, or rather the pastel strokes. I want uh, some definitive marks made by the pastels because that is what is um, most important about impressionistic style that you can see the different colors laid side by side. It is not blended all together. It's the strokes of color, the marks of color that make it the imp make the impression of colors, the impression of uh, different objects. Now onto the ground, the foreground. I am starting off with brown and then adding some yellow ochre. I'm also using some bright yellows, a gamboge I think is the name of the color and some lemon yellow as well. Just alternating all the different shades available to me using the flesh tint as well here and there wherever I thought that would be appropriate. So just following uh, the general layout of the colors and patterns that I saw in the original Van Gogh painting and trying to stay kind of close to that, trying to follow the brush stroke patterns, the lights and darks and laying of colors and not exactly where he has put what colors. Like I said, it is a much smaller scale of that same painting. So it is not an exact copy, but very, very close replication of the style um, is what I am concerned about. Adding in some whites here and there also to make it look like highlights. And that is how you have to generally create a Van Gogh look. Let those strokes show. Let the colors pop. Let there be dark against light and let there be some not really outlines but more like the different colors showing one next to the other and showing their own uh, 
personality. So that's about it for the background. Next, we move on to the portrait. First, I started off with the eyes because these are the smallest part of the painting, has a maximum amount of details, so I knew it would be a little bit hard. And once you kind of establish the eye, you have a general idea about um, the tonal values because area around the eyes and the pupil tend to be generally tonally the darkest portion of the face. So sometimes it is, um, in case of portraits, it's often um, very common to start with the eyes with uh, most painters and uh, especially in case of uh, not so much true in case of watercolor but every other medium I think uh, um, kind of trying to start with the eyes work out pretty good uh, so you can see that I started off with a burnt sienna and then I'm coming back with a burnt umber and uh, laying the general layout of the pupils coming back with the gamboge yellow or rather the yellow ochre I'm not exactly sure what color I have used uh, at every uh, different stages adding in some purples and blues as well and once those initial colors are laid then I'm coming back with the black and um, darkening the pupil and then adding the little bit of highlight on the eye next adding blues and then blending it or rather uh, adding whites for the white of the eye area I don't know the technical term for it I can't remember at the top of my head but anyways you get the idea now I'm working with different shades of brown or rather burnt sienna burnt umber yellow ochre flesh tint and white different areas and once again my idea here is to lay out the general pattern of lights and darks and let those pastel marks show I want to lay the colors side by side not really want to blend them together I want those pastel marks to show that is what will be true to the impressionistic style get the variations with the colors and uh, make it look dark and light Van Gogh and Dali are two of my favorite painters of all times I do have other favorite painters as well but both of them are like real big role models for me although my style is more surrealistic and realistic but I really like Van Gogh's style of painting so I thought a lot of people would like to learn how to paint like Van Gogh and especially with oil pastels that would be definitely something worth learning and experimenting and oh my god I was so right it was so much fun to do this style with oil pastels because oil pastels lay so nicely uh, one color on top of the other so getting the highlights getting the uh, marks with the pastel was so easy and it was so satisfying to do this piece of artwork it turned out to be one of my favorite pieces um, of art I have done so far still continuing with different flesh tints and yellows and browns and different parts of the skin and uh, after this area I have uh, kind of uh, missed out a little part of the face uh, because I just forgot to move my camera down to that area but I don't think you'll miss much because I'm just doing the same thing over and over again I am looking at the reference photo that I have and I am just laying light and dark colors in different areas as I see uh, so that is the general principle I'm following and I am not going to get all the different colors and all the different shadows and tonal levels just by laying single colors at one area because that is not how impressionist style works I'm going to lay one color on top of other and get like various different shades of color in the same area and make it really pop same colors used in the um, all over the face but creating a lot of variations to demarcate the tonal value using some blues and purples as well for the very dark areas around eyes hair 
the mustache, the shadows underneath the nose, and uh, the dark shadow areas in general. For that, I'm using romber, black, blue, and some purple as well. Just one of the really bright colors to pop, staying very true to the Van Gogh style. And I, I insist, even if you don't want to try out portraits, if portraits are not your thing, definitely try out the landscape or flowers using this particular style. I, I absolutely guarantee you, even if you are not an impressionistic painter like I am not one, but you will definitely enjoy this art style. And I think as an artist, from time to time, we should push ourselves out of our comfort zones and try different challenges um, different things different from our own style our own subject matter that kind of pushes you out of the comfort zone and try something different and a lot of good things come out of it you get to know different things uh, how to painting different paint different objects sometimes you even find out something new about yourself that you did not know knew about a painting that uh, painting a preference that you did not even know so coming on to the very last part of the painting where I am adding color to the neck area. Once I am done with that, that will be the end of the painting and which brings out to the end of this session of the tutorial. I hope you enjoyed watching it and learning it as much as I enjoy doing it. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video and do leave your comments and thoughts and if you do try this style out do share me, uh, with me uh, on all the social media platforms and all the materials are also linked in the video description below along with my other social media platforms so do check them out and i will see you soon